one thing that I wanted to start us off with was actually something that I, <laughs> of course, forgot to continue off of a previous episode. And this was during the episode where we were talking. It was actually during the Gohan, Broly, Vegeta, Goku episode. But at the end, we were talking about Frieza, right? And I said, or, and then I left us hanging. I said, okay, we're going to bring it up next week. So here we are a few weeks after. So sorry about that. But, you know, there's just a lot to, you know, kind of go over. Uh, you guys are, you know, giving us some good comments. So, you know, thank you guys for that as well. So here is basically what I wanted to talk about because Kai, myself, Brother Uj, we were all literally going back and forth and what exactly could they do with Frieza as far as like his whole uprising to like, you know, being this figure in the show now where he is just OD as all hell, right? So I thought, all right, what is the other thing that could possibly happen? And that's where I said it left it off with the or. So, but, so I didn't forget, I wrote it down and I'm going to paraphrase myself. Essentially, one of the things that I feel like would be kind of OD if Frieza did this, and this is aside from just one shot in Goku and Vegeta, okay? Because that's OD in and of itself. The one thing that he could do in addition to, you know, kind of cleaning up the, the universe, like in his own way and like everything's kind of, you know, like gearing itself towards like i don't know like a more tranquil like he'll make it look like that you know what i'm saying like frieza i want him to be like this mastermind plotful spiteful you know what i'm saying like he's doing this all with a bigger freaking purpose right and then at the same time it's almost like he's doing this so that he can get on the higher up good side let's say he gets on zeno's good side okay if he gets to that level, because you know how Goku and Zeno are boys. Like, imagine if, because Kai brought this up, he said, if, if, if Frieza was ever offered the position, he would say no. And why is that? Because the whole Supreme Kai rule. However, this is my or. What if he got that rule changed or deleted or straight up like, if a Supreme Kai dies, they are just the ones that go. And the God of Destruction stays. Imagine that shit. If he was actually able to get on the higher up good side to where they decided to just change that whole thing up because he was already doing them like a pretty decent solid and showing like, oh yeah, he has God of Destruction qualities. He's doing he's doing more than what Beerus is doing. I mean, Beerus is fucking sleep half the time. You know what I'm saying? So that was that was my thought. So there you go. So now now we can now y'all can go off of that. What do you think? I don't that is that is wild that is wild as hell but um i feel like their only justification for allowing it to happen would be goku black because like look at what happened when when the rule existed you know what i mean so getting rid of it could be seen as a good thing thanks to that horrible situation <laughs> right right yeah and and that's a good point too you bring up our boy goku black you know shout out to freaking goku black and like that character, you know, which is insane. And I and I find this happening in not just in Dragon Ball, but in other properties and entertainment as well. Sometimes when you have a character that is just too good, they just they just get like deaded for some some reason, whether it's a good one or not. And Goku Black was one of those reasons because he was and still is one of those characters that gave them such a problem that they kind of had to write it in such an asinine way to where you know like shit seemed shit was very convoluted for a lot of people but then when kai freaking had me watch that shit back i was like yo they really couldn't handle mans isn't it kind of crazy <laughs> how like they couldn't like, he's the only person they couldn't handle no nah. isn't it crazy that like i don't know i'm just kind of realizing this now but like when, when creators be writing their villains and shit sometimes they'd be making them way too strong for their own like like their shit yeah yeah <laughs> they no, don't know how to like counter write it so the, the heroes can win that's like it's what you what i would like to call writing themselves in the corner you know like the same thing goes back to you know ultra instinct you know like that that, that 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 form the way it was initially introduced that technique like th that should have been something that we shouldn't have ever seen 
like for a very long time like that is like that should have been the be all end all final form even though it's a technique but clearly for mortals it takes on a form you know what i'm saying like a visual representation of what they're in that state of being whatever right that is something that based on how it was explained it should have been the end if, if frieza ends up getting that rule changed right where super soup are uh, supreme kai's are like they don't have to be the ones to just die just to defeat him like that's that's actually a really uh good thing for his character just to show that he's really trying to cover all of his bases you know like and this also comes in this brings up a comment that someone shared on our last episode that uh that frieza like obviously because they, they they said they mentioned that they were like re-watching you know dragon ball super and like obviously it's very clear that frieza has an agenda and it's almost like he wants to really overthrow even the gods <laughs> so like i also think that you know to kind of level out that thought process of like okay so if that's the case then why wouldn't the angels kind of anticipate that well they could because remember you know how the saying goes keep your friends closer and your enemies closer they could literally just kind of play along just to make sure that they keep more eye on frieza and just be ready just in case right but then it's the twist that no one would expect where it's like yes they were aware of frieza's plans and yes they kind of played into it a little bit just to kind of keep more of close we get closer to him but when Frieza does some shit that they don't they're not ready for like take out Whis's dad for example shit's gonna go fucking bonkers so I feel like his first step is definitely taking on a god of destruction more so than an angel yeah I feel like that's his that's his, his first step I mean taking take like killing an angel would obviously be like a fucking threat level demon <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. Like you know what I mean? Like is is it definitely has more of an impact than killing a, a god of destruction, but I mean, I, that's how I feel about it, I think. Yo. At this point. Okay. Because he hates Beerus. We all know that. So like one of his primary objectives would be to fight Beerus and potentially kill him. And thank you for segueing into my thought exactly. If they have a a Frieza come up arc, dude. Frieza challenges Beerus. If Frieza wins, he becomes like, you know. Well, it's not even about him yeah, challenging. Been... It's like he, like I feel like at some point he's gonna surprise Beerus and just show up. No, I know that. Yeah, but I like, but like the way I'm thinking of it is like I would love for them, it's like to have that moment where, of course, Frieza is so because that's the thing. Frieza is so strong. Like this is a whole new level of arrogance and cockiness and confidence that he knows at any po point in time he could just end everybody right that's how he feels but then i want it to be like he comes and goes as he pleases he pops his head in just to say hi <laughs> maybe knock somebody the fuck out humble them whatever and then Kinda he dips. like he just did right yeah, right exactly more of that right but then the difference now is that he starts showing up he pulls up to beerus's planet like he knows where they're at. That oh my god, that would be crazy. Yeah, would be Cause crazy. then there's like they don't they're not they're not safe at any point. Like he to make that point. Imagine, imagine they show us by not showing us. They show us by Goku Vegeta going on Beerus's planet, whatever, and Beerus is already training and they're like, huh? He's not asleep? What what's got him fired up? And they like show like him training in the air, like super serious, and we just like, um, about that. Oh <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That'd be sick. Man. Yeah, see, this is this is. I want our fucking royalties already, goddamn it. Jesus fucking Christ, this is like we're writing the story for them. Frieza literally, Frieza literally swung by and woke his ass up. Right. <laughs> he re he had to remind them, man. That shit would be fire because swung by. Swung by. Cause if it, if cause it, cause think about it, if it ever came down to it, where it's like they had to witness Beerus, Lord Beerus, like in a fucking fight, not to the death, right? But like, if they ever wanted to just, you know, play it off or Frieza wanted to play it off, like, yeah, I just want to test my abilities. Right. And he wanted to have an audience 
with Zeno, with the other gods. You know, make a whole shindig out of it. Maybe even maybe make, make it one of those like world tournaments. We'll have another tournament arc, except it's not like a tournament of power. It's more like a exhibition type of thing where it's like it's just like a wrestling match or a wrestling event where you know you have like a bunch of matches that you're going to go see. So it's like they could be like you know oh yeah like invite your other strongest you know warriors from your universes and then we get to see Jiren again you know what I'm saying like they could do all that kind of stuff and then the whole the main event is Frieza versus Beerus and like the whole time Beerus is just like sweating and like we, we then we really see Beerus come up and like Beerus goes ultra instinct or like he does some crazy shit that maybe like we haven't even seen yet like there's another forbidden unspoken about new fucking transformation because it's Dragon Ball let's be honest we know it's gonna happen like the gods have or something right like uh ultra god ultra god ultra <laughs> ultra instinct uh I heard you next door type fucking shit okay like whatever it doesn't matter but that's my point and then of course, the fight is dope, but Frieza the entire time is like, okay, I think I'm done now. And then he fucking smacks him. And it's so, it's so decisive. It's like, holy shit. It's he so one-sided. And he's like, and everyone, everyone in the crowd, like, you know how they, how they have the end moment like, oh, they're like, he was toying with him the entire time. Like, <laughs> I mean, I honestly wouldn't I mind if like the, the first encounter was just him testing his abilities with or without the slap <laughs> at the end right. like to decide who's the victor <laughs> but it's like it could literally just end up being a draw because he doesn't want to fight anymore and he's like all right i tested my abilities like i want to dip now and he'll just work on some shit okay for the, for the nah, nah, listen listen like we we gotta think like i mean because fir first of all beerus really is one of if not the number one strongest god of destruction out there excluding the top four universes because we did see them get to duke it out in the arena themselves and we saw that this man was holding himself against all the other gods which is fucking crazy so if frieza does that that speaks volumes more than it already does <laughs> so that's fucking that's crazy right but i want to i wanted to mention that like this is something you know frieza being a god of destruction or going for that or going higher than that that's something we've discussed for years because let's not forget how deeply rooted the two of those characters are with each other beerus is frieza's boss he literally told frieza to eradicate the saiyans so like yeah this is... hmm. that's facts oh taking over challenging the manager <laughs> that's what i'm saying <laughs> oh my god yeah no see that's that's what i'm saying and like and if they present it in the way of that of my idea think about it in the way that they should right well yeah right fucking shit they 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 should re like they should do it like that because then at that point it's like of course you're giving a lot of people like you know other things that they want or like you know you get to see like all these other characters involved or whatever but what the whole point is is that this is an audience for frieza and it's a it's a way for frieza to literally universally multiversally however you want to put it put everyone in check and on notice that here i am this is how strong i am this is how strong i'm showing you i am if you cross me i'm taking your universe like dude i want frieza to be that od a declaration of war right he fucking yo he puts on a show just so that every universe un understands that like you like do not mess with me point blank i feel like frieza is like our only key of making dragon ball like bloody well <laughs> gruesome <laughs> gruesome yeah the better word yeah but yeah you know what i mean yeah like you like what like two episodes into bleach Oh, oh, blood! <laughs> yo, <laughs> yo, have heads, you have you watching the Bleach episodes? Off. No, I'm waiting. Fucking heads popped off. <laughs> Second episode. <laughs> Fuck, are we talking about? <laughs> like, Dude, we're watching these fucking episodes of this guy the whole time. Like every, with every fucking death or every cut, he's like, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> destruction. <laughs> like <laughs> he wants to see that oh, shit. God damn, bro. Like, yeah. Like. Yeah, no, I feel like Freeze is like one of the only opportunities for that to kind of steer in that direction for Dragon Ball. Yeah. Not that it necessarily needs it. No. Nah. But like, you know, it's something different. It right. That's the whole that's I feel like that's really what it is. It's just like that would be such a refreshing, like, holy shit. It's not just like giving 
Dragon Ball a new arc. It's like giving that shit way new life purpose. Like, you know, like, because a lot of people give it gripe for many different things, which is like, whatever. And like, there's some folks that, I mean, you know, some opinions are better than others. And they think like, oh yeah, like, there's there's no real story it's just fighting but no they don't really look at the show for what you know it is but and i mean that's i mean they are they are partly right um especially when you compare it to story driven type of shows right, right? yeah this yeah, really is yeah. just fighting so i'll give them that right but i'd like to bring up that out of all the shows out there dragon ball should be the most gruesome because death holds no value so at least torturing these characters would give us something to be like oh you yeah know? Like, mm, yeah like like the word the reason why i probably say freeze is our opportunity right now is because like in the past when they were on oh shit he plays with his food. <laughs> in, in the past when they were on fucking namek like this motherfucker put his fucking hand through niggas fucking bodies and shit but there was yeah. not there was not really yeah. like blood like that back then obviously but imagine if they like reanimated that for example yeah like the amount of blood pouring out that man's fucking body type of shit yeah yeah I, so <laughs> that's the, shit, i don't right? know i don't know if i don't know if they would get that gruesome just because of where it's at on tv i mean i don't know man fuck that i'm shit. not saying that they will but i'm saying that considering how how fighting based it is yeah. and that death doesn't mean shit no this is how they give us some type of feeling mixed in with these crazy ass fights yeah 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 no i i totally agree i totally agree yeah no that's just needed to be honest. To be honest. <laughs> that's just needed. To be honest. Yeah. Uh, I'm with it. I'm with it. Oh, that's that good shit. <laughs>